So you have a monoclonal antibody that's purified that we're going to be labeling. So what is the concentration of your antibody and what buffer is it in? It says it's in a 100 microliter aliquot and a concentration of one mg per mil. It's buffered in PBS and it's got 0.1% sodium azide. Is that going to be a problem? No. As long as it's 0.1% or less, the sodium azide isn't going to interfere with the reaction. And the fact that it's 100 micrograms and one mg per mil, it's perfect for the monoclonal kits. To label your purified antibody, you're going to do a very simple reaction. You're going to add 1 10th volume or 10 microliters of your sodium bicarbonate solution into your antibody solution. And then you're going to mix that. And then you're going to add 100 microliters of your antibody solution and you're going to add it to your dye. You want to mix well. And that's done. So basically, at, within a, the first minute, this reaction is complete, but we're going to let it go like 15 minutes. Our protocol says you can go for up to an hour, but 15 minutes is going to be sufficient. Most people in applications where they're doing microscopy or flow are going to do a series of wash steps. So you could take this conjugate and go and do the cell staining. And while you're doing wash steps for flow or microscopy, you're getting rid of any unfound dye. And so for a lot of cases, this works perfectly well. So that's it. You just add your buffer to your uh, antibody and then add that to your dye? That's right. Wow, I've made instant soups that were harder.